Hi, I'm Adam Snow here at New Haven Farm and I'm going to demonstrate one of the drills that I like to work on on my own. Um, I call this the one touch drill. I do it sometimes pre-game. It's sort of a ball control confidence thing for me. And it's a one touch from the near side to the off side and back again the other way. You're just duck onto the off side, duck onto the near side. If this line is the course my horse is cantering, the ball is moving from here to here to here. Like many of these drills, we can vary the speed and the distance that we're moving this ball. Um, but I think this simulates what happens sometimes in polo when you grab a ball on the near side and you'd like to get it to the off side quickly because it's easier to hit over here. And it's just sort of a, a little chop onto the off side. The other thing that it applies to for on-field plays is to avoid a hook. So rather than taking a, a full near side swing for this drill, I'm more looking at a little half swing to move the ball so that I'm simulating avoiding a player trying to hook me. Um, and it's something that gives me confidence. It's almost like a soccer player juggling the ball. Um, the other thing that, that happens in a game is I feel somebody coming from this side to bump me. I'd like to flick that ball over to this side receive that bump and still continue with the ball. So I think it's helpful for that play on the polo field as well. Um, give it a try. Hope you enjoy it and I hope it can help you too. So this drill can be easy or hard depending on how fast you're going, how far you tap the ball. It only is going to begin with a little bit of distance and a, a settled canter to get the rhythm. It's a nice way to warm up for a game. Just start moving around your horse and be conscious of how far you're hitting that ball. And that's a good way to get the ball from your near side to your off side. Now he's going to try to show us the same drill, a little bit shorter taps. So these are more like hook evaders. Um, it's a good way to avoid a hook. Often when you avoid that hook and with a little tap, you create space for yourself to take a, ne a full swing on the, that next ball. But the purposes of this drill is making that tap. It's fine to miss, just come around and start again and begin with how many touches you can get in a row back and forth and try to build on that every stick and ball session. That looked pretty slick right there. That was a tuck, 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 tuck at some speed. Well done! So this is a drill where you can virtually keep your horse straight and just have the angles be um, across the horse's neck very subtle. So sometimes we're just hitting the ball out in front of us and following it. This is actually moving the ball around our horse from the left side to the right side. <laughs> 